The last tool that we want to take a look at is the combo box tool. The combo box tool allows us to include a combo box or a drop down menu in our forms. You've probably seen these on websites and other programs and applications, but it's where you click on the menu and the little drop down box appears and you can select one of several options or maybe you can select multiple options. But that's what we mean by the combo box tool. Now the way we include the combo box is just like any other tool we've talked about. You would look in the toolbox window and you can drag or click or double click, however you want to do it, but we can include it in our forms. And of course, there are several properties um, that are very commonly used for combo boxes. Just about all of these we've seen before, but we'll mention them anyway. So we have the name of the combo box. So if we have multiple combo boxes, we need to be able to distinguish between one and the other, or if we have several, so we can give a name for a particular combo box. We have a text that we can include for the combo box. So we can maybe include some initial text that would appear in the menu itself. We have the location where we can specify the coordinates of where this combo box is going to be in our form. We have the size, so we can decide the width and the height of how large or how small this combo box is going to be. The items property we're going to talk about in just a little bit, but this is the one that's unique to the combo box where we can actually specify what the menu options are or the drop down options are for the combo box. But of course we have the font. Uh, property so we can decide which font style color size bold italic all that good stuff so we can specify that in our drop down menu or combo box and of course we have the visible property so we can decide whether or not the combo box is visible when the form loads so how do we add items into our combo box well, the way we would do this is we first need to select the combo box and then the bottom right corner, we would get the properties window for the, the combo box. You should be familiar with how to do this at this point. And you're going to want to find the items property from there. Just like what we saw with the picture box tool, there's going to be a little button with three dots at the end of that property. You're going to want to click on the, that three dot button. And what you should get, is a big dialog box that has a very large text box and it's going to say enter the strings in the collection one per line so all you got to do here is just type in each item that you want in a text box however many items you want there i'm sure there's a physical limit but they're really we're not too worried about a limit on the number of items for the combo box the big catch though is we have to make sure that each item is on a separate line. If you put multiple things on the same line, Visual Basic and Visual Studio will recognize that as just one big item. So if you have several items, you can't separate them with commas. It even says in the dialog box to do one per line. So the first line would be the first item, the next line would be the next item and so forth. We'll now do an example of adding a combo box to our form. So let's just go ahead and get started. So when you go to toolbox and find combo box, there it is. So let's get out of here. We move this down here. We may or may not be adding some things later on to this form. And then we need to change a couple of things. Uh, we need to find the name. Where is that? No, it's around here somewhere. There we go. So we're going to change this to CB test. And then we need to add some items to this combo box. So here's items right here. Maybe we'll add some animals. So we'll do cat, dog, bird, fish. That's pretty good. So we'll click OK. All right, let's go ahead and run this. I mean, we just have a combo box here. And if we click on this, we'd see we have cat, dog, bird, fish. We can select whichever one we want. So there's a combo box. Seems pretty straightforward, right? Uh, well, let's do some more stuff with this combo box. Uh, let's say um, we want to have a message box displayed whenever we pick an item. So we can actually double click on the combo box. And what we see is we get a new sub procedure uh, called CB test selected index changed. And what this event is handling, so we see the event is CB test dot select index change is whenever we select a different uh, item from our combo box, we'll do whatever's in here. 
So we'll do something very simple. We'll do uh, message box dot show. So we'll have a message box displayed, and we're going to do cb test dot selected index. Let's see what this does. So if this does what I think it will do, is whenever I select an item here. Okay, that's the end index. Okay, so. So the way we can think of our combo box is kind of an array of items. So cat should be index zero, dog should be index one. Let's change this up a little bit. Instead of selected index, let's do selected item. I think that's gonna look a little better. So let's run it. Move this over here. So we'll do bird. That looks better. Yeah, I, I want the, the animal names to appear, not the, the numbers. So we have selected item, bird, fish, all right, that seems pretty simple. So we can include a sub procedure to handle the event of changing our selection from our combo box. But we can do other things as well. Let's go back to the design view of our form. And maybe we want to add a text box and then a button where I can type something in the text box and add it to my combo box. So let's do that. So we'll go add a text box. Let's find text box. Here we go. And we need to move the text box. Let's put it sort of right about here. That's pretty good. And we're going to change the name. So let's find the name. There we go. We'll call this uh, TB test. Okay. And then we're going to add a button. So let's find our button tool. There we go. And let's put it right about here and we're going to change the name of the button we're going to call it bt add because this is going to be an add button and we're going to change the text if i can find that it should be up here there we go we're going to change this to add so the idea is i'm going to type in something in the text box i'm going to click on add and that's going to add something to our combo box so that means we need to double click on the button so whenever i click on this uh what we're going to do is to add an item to our combo box, we need to have the name of the combo box, that's gonna be CB test dot, and then we need to do items dot add, and then I can put in the, uh, the, the text that I want to add. So in this case, I'm gonna take the text property from our text box. So we'll do TB test dot text, oops. There we go. So let's go ahead and start this up, start, there we go. So maybe I'll add another animal. Um, let's say, uh, let's see here, rabbit. Okay, so I'm gonna click on add. So now if we take a look, we see that rabbit is in our list and I can add more stuff to it. If I wanna add lizard, click on add. There we go. We just can add anything else uh, we want on here, but that basically allows us to add stuff to our combo box.